This is the starting condition with the secondary throttle valve in its normal uh, resting position. We turn the ignition on and it should do its little dance. And then, of course, the display should uh, come up with a COO, meaning uh, no errors in this condition. Here we have the secondary throttle valve simulator board. I just have it uh, temporarily sitting on the console right now. It connects into the secondary throttle valve uh, position sensor and also the former uh, motor drive circuit. And then, now that it's connected, we can open up the secondary throttle valve to the fully open position before we start it. Now when the bike starts it's going to have quite a high RPM because the linkage is still connected to the fast idle mechanism. So, so let's turn the ignition on. We get our COO reading. And I can start the bike now. 